City of Westminster, the City of Westminster got a zero tolerance policy to graffiti and street art. So hopefully everyone apart from Westminster is going to really like it and then Westminster changed the policy. Yeah. So at the moment you walk down every fucking high street and there's two prets, a Starbucks, a Gap and it's fucking boring. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck wants that? and then something else that you've never heard of. I would now like to mention briefly disarmament and the establishment of true so I wrote a long list of words that I felt represented what Amnesty fight against and then I emailed them over to the journalist and the people at Amnesty and this woman from Amnesty phoned me up and she was like, ooh, it's a little bit negative, isn't it? And it's like, if we were celebrating the fact that we didn't need you anymore, then yeah, let's have some birthday cakes and some sparklers. But So yeah, I've done kind of quite a negative post of it. It's got a little spin at the end of it and I think it's kind of quite good. They like artists to kind of to do shit for them and Amnesty's kind of quite cool so people like me like to do stuff for Amnesty. It's better than Coca-Cola or PlayStation, that's for sure. So, <laughs> so yeah, we've just like literally just got off the plane from San Francisco like three days ago. I did a show at a gallery called White Walls. Yeah, luckily it was a success. We sold nearly everything, which is cool. Thank you, David Cameron and President Obama. <laughs>
Yeah.